Hello and welcome to this demonstration on how to analyze engineering over quality using Geekly Engineering Intelligence. In this demo, we want to analyze the potential over quality of dust and water resistances named IP6X and IPX7 and forming the IP67 requirement from norms. We already set IP6X and IPX7 to the maximum potential expected level of free. Free is a qualitative value defined by the client. Set Geekly's war room mode with the transmission subsystem on the left and the activation subsystem on the right. Both are contributing to the system level IP67 requirements. We remark that to achieve the expected performance on IP67, the transmission subsystem needs to perform at a level of free on both IP6X and IPX7. While the activation system can perform at either free or four. Another interpretation consists of analyzing that an activation subsystem at performance four is not mandatory to reach the maximum performance at system level. Thus, it can be considered as over quality. The question is now to understand if this overquality has an impact on other performance, such as, for example, the part cost. To do that, we crop the design space and we keep in color the value 4 on both IP6X and IPX7 for activation subsystem. The colored data now represents the consequence to permit an overquality of 4 and the value in gray the consequence of not leaving this freedom. We note that leaving the overquality will impact the cost of parts, the cheaper opportunity is not available anymore, as well as the corrosion risk. Please note that, according to the value scale defined by the team, a higher number represents a lower risk. Therefore, the consequence of not leaving this overquality leads to an optimization of the design a cheaper part cost, and a lower corrosion risk. We will consider the second one in this case. Thank you for watching. Please contact us to know more.